Dustin in ducks in flight. Well, the turkeys are strutting, big bucks are rutting, a family adventure, that's right. When the sun starts setting, you better be a betting, we'll be headed to the old fish fry. Well, a frogging and a strutting and a ducking and a bucking, a family adventure, that's right, TP Outdoors, yeah. Pay it forward, y'all. TP Outdoors Adventures, brought to you by Ryan Chevrolet, Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental, and these great sponsors. Closed captioning provided by Catfish Charlie's and Catfish Charlie's North. Real fresh. This week's Pay It Forward Adventure is a hunt that Bill and Chris have been working on for several years. American hero wounded warrior Jack Fanning is going on his first ever spring turkey hunt. Jack will be hunting on the Poverty Canyon Ranch in Central Texas. Jack served in the United States Air Force as a combat controller. Combat controllers are some of the baddest warriors in the U.S. military. These men have to train to fight with all branches of the U.S. Special Forces while still being able to control the aircraft overhead. Jack was injured in a training accident and is now a quadriplegic with no movement from his shoulders down. As you'll see in this week's show, this doesn't slow Jack down. Since his accident, he has skydived, been scuba diving, snow skied, and has started a nonprofit called Brothers Keepers that helps other veterans that were injured. Ready to go kill a turkey, huh? Oh, heck yeah. We got a mount of stuff on his gun and all real quick. I had a, guess where I can shoot it, decided it is for After mounting a scope on Jack's Benelli shotgun, the team is loaded up and going to head to the blind for an afternoon hunt. Here we go. Stop it. Go down. After a couple of miles of rough roads, they've arrived at the blind. Jack will be using a B adaptive rest system that allows him to control the shotgun by using a joystick in the corner of his mouth and a sip tube system to activate the trigger. Now if the turkeys will just stay still long enough for Jack to make the shot. That's a cool little setup you got, man. There's a quail. Things that come on your side right there. See that quail? So it shakes on the ground with a three or four or five inch beard, you know. And you know, Tom have a nine to twelve inch beard. You tell by that, but also if he pans out his feathers on shake, the three center feathers will be shorter than all the rest of the feathers. So you can tell that. And they're, they're, that just means they're younger. They're younger, that's right. They're not as old. They're a one year old bird. But he wants to take Yeah, he'd like to take one or two of those off and then kill a copper after that, you know. Okay. After several hours and only seeing deer and quail, the guys head back up to the camp with hopes that tomorrow will bring in some turkeys. After arriving back at the camp, Jack was introduced to ranch owner Danny Knox. Danny has donated this hunt to Jack, and he also has several warrior hunts a year. Thanks, Mr. Danny. You're making a difference in these warriors' lives. Ryan Chevrolet is the largest selection of Chevy trucks, cars, and SUVs in the area. Browse over 400 vehicles on our lot, including the family favorite Tahoe and Suburban. Test drive the dependable, long-lasting Silverado with a selection of over 200. And choose from five different special edition Silverados, including the Realtree edition. Visit Ryan Chevrolet in Monroe or search online at ryanautomotive.com. Thanks for making Ryan Chevrolet the number one truck dealer in Northeast Louisiana. You're the first one up in the morning, you're ready for the day, and you've got a lot to do. But sometimes, you need a bigger shovel. 
For over 17 years, Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental has been keeping the big boys in the big toys. Doesn't matter if you're a hunter, farmer, contractor, or you just like getting dirty, we've got the steel to get the job done right. Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental. Work done right. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust earned. Nikon. O'Neill's Farm and Garden has bucks stopping in their tracks for the all-new Buck Stop Crunch Deer Feed. Buck Stop Crunch is a unique blend of distiller grain, chopped corn, roasted soybeans, and a wild berry flavoring that will drive deer mad. Check it out at O'Neill's Farm and Garden Ruston and TP Outdoors Monroe, West Monroe. The next morning, Bill and Jack are back in the same blind and have heard a couple of birds gobbling in the distance. told you earlier, Jack's killed some deer before, but he's never been on a turkey hunt before, so we've been trying to do this for three years now, trying to get you out somewhere turkey yeah. hunt. And we've had different things come up where we haven't been able to get it, but it all come together this morning, so maybe now we can hunt for a long beard. We've got a turkey under our belt, so now we wait for a big long beard. But what, four or five Jakes come in there and you smoked one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long at all. Did it? We'll be having turkey for but dinner. That was fun. That was another first. As you can see yesterday, that gun tore me up yesterday while we were sighting that scope in, so. It packs a wallop. It didn't bother me either time. <laughs> He's still young, but that's a that's yeah. a pretty decent sized tire. Yeah, Isn't that pretty? <laughs> He's taking a dirt nap. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about the equipment that we're using today. This is a special rig. It's made by Be Adaptive Equipment. You know, Jack has a rig like this, and then I have a rig like this. This is actually my rig that I keep at the store, so. You know, it's out for loan. If, if anybody needs to borrow a rig, you got somebody that wants to go hunting and they're just not able to do it without some type of rig like this, it's, you know, I'll be glad to loan it to you at any time. You don't even have to go hunting if you want to go shoot a gun. But Jack and I are going to tell you a little bit about what all we've got going on here. But basically, we've got this Be Adaptive rig that uses a sip and puff. You can actually move left or right or up and down. And then also, when you get ready to fire, it's got an actuator that pulls the trigger. 
So Jack's going to demonstrate a little bit of how he can move the gun and, and aim it. But before we get to there, also on the gun, we've got a scope mounted on this shotgun. And then we've got a, a rig here that's a, what's the name of that, Jack? I can't remember the name. It's called Night Sight. Yeah, Night Sight. It hooks onto your scope. And so Jack can see, or anyone can see, everybody in the blind can see what's going on here. And it makes it easy to aim without having to get your eye up to the scope and <laughs> worry about getting hit like Chris did yesterday with the gun. Yeah. <laughs> but sure. Because, uh, because I can't move my arms or legs, uh, I can't get that rifle up into my shoulder, you know, so the eye relief is so long that that night sight really uh, makes it a lot easier uh, to see the... Uh, See know, what's through the scope. You know, you know what, exactly what's going what, on. what you're looking right. at through the scope. So, and then this apparatus right here comes up to my mouth. And if I put my right beside my mouth on my chin, I can move that thing left or right. Or up and down. And meanwhile, this little tube right here is the sipping puff that actuates the trigger so you can do it all right here and if I'm lined up get that in my mouth boom and I sip and it pulls the trigger it also has a safety mechanism which I don't need for Jack because Jack's an accomplished hunter and knows what he's doing but you know I hunt with a lot of kids and stuff and this will prevent if I don't have this button push you can sip or puff on that all you want and it's not going to pull the trigger so it's just an extra right. safety device right so before Jack shot log, I pushed in on this button, and then he did the silk, and we killed a turkey is what we did, didn't we? We did, first uh, time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go out there and take some pictures of the turkey, but like I said, if you'd like to borrow this rig, just contact me at the store, and we'll sure let you borrow it. So let's go out there and get some pictures of a good turkey. Sun come out, and let's take a picture of it. All right, Jack. Buddy, we did it, didn't we? We did it. <laughs> we got us one. We've been playing this trip for three years now, trying to make this happen. And, you know, it's uh, turkey hunting's tough. It's really tough. And when you're tied down to a blind and you're having to sit in one location, it makes it tougher. But just this is an awesome place. You know, these people let us come out here at Poverty Canyon Whitetails. And Danny Knox, uh, just an awesome guy that owns this ranch. He does a lot of things for military guys. And, you know, we called him and asked him to bring Jack out here. Of course, they said, bring him on anytime. So, we made it out here yesterday, and this morning we made it happen. Thank you, guys. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Knox. And thank you, Bill and Chris, helping me out. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, we're not done. We're gonna get some more. <laughs> this is just the first morning. We're gonna do some more hunting this afternoon, and then tomorrow morning. But just an awesome bird. If you don't mind, Jack, we'll, we'll say a little blessing. Thank the Lord for this. If you don't mind. All right. Let's do it. Lord, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for Jack. Thanks for bringing Jack into my life. You know, Jack has meant a lot to me and has changed my life. And so I've been, uh, got to know him a few years ago, Lord. And, uh, he's doing great things in his life. His brother's keepers and he's helping other people. And he's a one of a kind guy, Lord. Just be with him and, and bless what he does and what he puts his mind to do. And Lord, help his caretakers and be with our families while we're away. And Lord, thank you for this great world and this great country to you. Put us in with these great birds and animals for us to hunt. Couldn't do it without you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. 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 Let's, uh, let's take a few more pictures and we'll go get some All lunch right. and we'll get back after this afternoon. Let's do it. That is gorgeous. And you got a good beard. Yeah, we've got a full fan. Yeah. Pretty much. Isn't he pretty? That is pretty gorgeous, good. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I right on, man. I am man. so happy for you. Get out of here. Bucks are starting to put some horn on the hand. It's time to go out there and see what you got for this hunting season. Got a couple of closeouts for you. The Stealth Cam Infrared Deer Camera. Comes with the batteries, the card, the camera, everything you need for $69.97. Also, we got the American Hunter Bag Feeder. This is something new for us. It's a closeout we bought, but it has a timer on it. You can feed up to four times a day. It'll hold 80 pounds of corn, hangs from a tree. Just a great deal for $19.97. Yeah, I said that right, $19.97. Stop by either location at TP Outdoors. It started raining. We threw everything in the truck. A blast actually went off two feet to my right side. And it broke right at the halfway point. Hey, this has VIP warranty. They just told me to send in the parts. Just they looked at them, evaluated them. They cleaned them up really well and fixed the eye cups. And there we are a week later hunting with a new scope.
To Vortex, it is a very important promise. You buy a Vortex Optic and it might be the last one you'll ever have to buy. After a quick lunch, Bill asked Jack if he wanted to take a nap and go back out later that afternoon, or go ahead and head back out for a long afternoon of hunting. Jack, without question, said he would just as soon sit out at the blind as sit around the camp. So, at just afternoon, the guys head back out to the blind for an afternoon hunt. Not long after getting set up, a hen shows up. A strong cold front has moved in, and the wind is blowing 30 to 40 miles per hour, and the temperature is dropping. Bill has spotted a long beard headed their way. Another hen has shown up, and she's given Jack a good chance to practice aiming before a gobbler shows up. Yes. You got him, brother. Yes. You got a long beard now. Oh, All right. Oh, oh, oh. Two on one day. All right, buddy. Oh, Jack, that's awesome, buddy. Ooh. That's what we was wanting right there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> was that exciting or what? That was incredible. We got another one down here gobbling at us. I swear that one was gobbling to the left, yeah. yeah. And, and then, then he just came out of nowhere. Right oh, that's a beautiful bird there, man. Came right up. <laughs> I had to come up just a little bit and then he walked right in into me. <laughs> I had to take it right then too. Oh yeah, because he's been walking away from it. Yep. I think he's getting nervous on us. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh look at the spurs on that. Oh wow. Three-year-old bird. Oh, man. Good long beard. Look at that thing. That beautiful. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. That's what that, I'm talking about. Hooks on that baby. That put a hurt on it. I guarantee. Wow. Beautiful bird. Incredible. Pretty all the colors are on it. It's beautiful. And see, this was quite a bit larger than that one this morning. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. Thank you. Guys okay, so for our brother. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you for this day, Lord. Uh, thank you for Jack again. Thank you for letting it all come together, Lord. Uh, just an amazing hunt with an amazing guy. Thank you for the ranch owners and everybody that made this possible for us, Lord. Thank you for your son that you gave so for us. Thank you for everybody in heaven someday, Lord. Right. Oh, look at the pretty white tip. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, brother. All right. right. That's right. <laughs> what do you what think about this turkey hunt? Oh, man. What a great couple of days. You guys have been so great to us. And uh, I have fun just sitting in the blind with you guys and then able to accomplish our mission and get a couple turkey. 
Hey guys, we got one of the new Stealth Cam PX18 cameras. Last year we had this camera for $99 on sale. That was the sale price. We've got them in stores now for $68.88. Got any of you come back, a really good camera. We're gonna put one out here, and then we're gonna climb a tree and hunt this afternoon. Easy to set up. Probably I think that's like every 30 seconds delay. That's all there is to it. It's ready to go on a tree. Put a strap on it, it's ready to go. Just that simple. You see, it's really easy to set up. You don't have to be some teenager to be able to program it. See, we're all sweaty. We've been hanging a stand here. We've not hunted this spot. This is a brand new spot we're baiting to see how this uh, field, Big Buck Crunch, works. So this is not a spot we've been baiting for weeks. We've been feeding on in a week. This is brand new. Get this out, go take a shower. And we'll be back here this afternoon about 4 o'clock and see if we can't find a, at least old slick head coming through here this evening. Check out the Stealth Cam PX18 game camera, yours for only $68.88, only at TP Outdoors. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the show. Jack, man, that was an awesome hunt. That was so much fun, getting to see your expression. And I'm sure mine was a lot more excited than yours was if we got that on video, because I was pumped when that turkey came out. I think my cheeks are still uh, a little <laughs> sore from having a such a big smile on my face. Yeah, you know, I'm not one to be known to smile a whole lot, but I was too. My mouth was hurting from smiling so much. But I want to talk to you a minute about, you do an organization, and I've got your shirt on, called Brothers Keepers. And this organization, it's you and some other guys that I think you went to elementary and high school, junior high school with, it started, and y'all help veterans and first responders. And I know y'all just had one of your big events. And if you don't mind, I'm going to show a minute of you. Okay. Tell me what we're fixing to see. What were you doing? Uh, in early April, we took 38 people, seven families in all, plus a few Brothers Keepers volunteers, up to Park City, Utah, and they got to all ski with their kids and their spouses. And these are guys from double amputee, traumatic brain injury, guys that are wheelchair bound, a couple of police officers that have been shot up, and uh, and we're, we're all about the family unit. Right. So we brought all the families up there first class and they got to ski down the mountains for two days straight with their with their family members and we had a ball. But then they had a contraction that's similar to your chair that they surprised you with. They surprised me on the last day and brought me out in front of everybody and displayed this, well, the only sip and puff chair in the world that you could ski down a mountain by yourself, just using your mouth. Uh, kind of like how my chair works, but it even worked better than that. And so I got on it and I took off. And then you started racing up <laughs> yeah. and out the and, and they're like, yeah, you, you're going pretty fast, faster than anybody's gone. I think I was the 12th person ever to-, to There's only one to of those chairs off. in the world. There's only one in the world. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Man. And yeah, it, it was really cool. You know, we do, this is a pay it forward adventure that we're on here now. But you're even going to step farther. You're paying back to pay it back. I mean, you're helping these guys, and it's just amazing. It inspires me. Yeah, we're, we're committed to it. We want to honor and empower our veterans, our first responders, their families, and uh, all others that serve in our communities. Folks, I know y'all are always calling and texting me and telling me how much you enjoy the Pay It Forward Adventures. Well, it's time to get involved. And you can get involved by looking up Brothers Keepers on, online or on it's, Facebook. It's brothers-keepers.org. And it costs about $500 to $750 per person to send on one of these neat retreats that we've been doing. And so. They can make a donation right there. It's tax deductible. They can make yeah. a donation to your organization. And, and then they can go sit back and, and watch the videos that they put on their Facebook page and see where your money went. That's a great organization. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And I thank you, Jack, as I always say. Thank you for letting us come on these adventures with you and inspiring us. I've got a new passion for turkey, turkey hunting now. Uh, everybody's been telling me and you've been telling me how neat it is. And I'm, after this weekend and Mr. Knox letting us out here on uh, Poverty Canyon Ranch. Yes, I, I was blown away how cool turkey hunting is, so uh, I'm, I, I'm hooked. When we and started this conversation of coming here, I told you about how awesome this place was. We'd come out here last year with a, a kid that we were hunting with, a friend of mine, and uh, I was just, the facilities here are amazing in the game. He's got 
axis, black buck, white tailed deer that, as you can see on the wall behind us, turkeys, you name it, they got it. And it's a first class operation. It's reasonably priced. It's a great place to come. That's another way you can help. You know, the people that you right. see that support us, support them. You know, these guys are making a living by doing these ranches, but they don't make these hunts to us. We didn't pay anything to come here. Exactly. So, I mean, y'all, if you're going on a hunt, make sure you go to a place that's similar to this, that does, does good in the world. And it all evolves around just a spinning door. It helps everybody. Well, y'all just stay tuned next week for another adventure. Hope you enjoyed this week's. I know I sure did. Jack, let's get back to Dallas, get you to Dallas when we head home to Louisiana. All right. Let's do it with a smile on our faces. Huh? All the way, buddy. Good to see you. Thank you, Thank Bill. You. Thanks for watching TP Outdoors Adventures, brought to you in part by Ryan Chevrolet and Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental. Is that a sick joke or something? They clap for me, yeah. <laughs> 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 it sinks the camera. <laughs>